So if we go to getmunch.com, what getmunch.com does is it takes your long form videos. So for example, if you're a YouTuber or you're a podcaster and you wanna clip your videos down and post them onto social media, you would normally have to take them into Premiere Pro, resize them, edit it around, then potentially take it into a software program like CapCut, add transitions, add captions so that it looks good, but you don't have to do that anymore. Or you would have to outsource that. Now I've outsourced it to several different people and it's expensive. Right now I'm paying anywhere from $25 to $50 a video or I was doing that up until I found these softwares out this week. This software is gonna do everything for you from resizing the video to chopping it up to listening to what you're saying and picking the best parts of your video to turn into shorts to even running what you're saying and the terms that you're saying against trending searches that are potentially happening on these social media platforms and suggesting based on those trending searches what parts of your video you should upload. It's freaking mind blowing. So when you first sign up to Munch, you'll see a little plus sign and then you wanna click that. That's gonna help you create a new project. Then you want to select whether it's for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. Now, I always select TikTok here just because I like the templates better in the TikTok one, but they're pretty much all very similar. If you want to keep horizontal videos and not go vertical, maybe you're creating like clips for a clip channel or something like that, then you can toggle on this right here so that it keeps your aspect ratio at nine by 16. So we're going to click into the TikTok one and click next. Here's where you can either upload a video if you have your video already, or you can post a YouTube video that's public. So for example, if you're clipping up someone's content then you post their YouTube video there, and then you would be able to get shorts from their YouTube video that you could then post. If it was your content, well, then you would go to YouTube. You would go like Brian Guerra. I saw a video. Grab one of the URLs from one of the videos, obviously your video, and then you would paste it in there. And then you would click next, right? And now you want to pick your theme for your subtitles and the way that it's going to edit out. Now, this first one's kind of cool. It's newer. This is pretty much what everybody on TikTok does, right? So you have like the captions in yellow, green, and white. I think this looks the most professional. It looks good. This one right here also looks good, but it also looks super cap cutty when like captions were first a thing. Like a lot of people use that text in that color and cap cut. It's a little played out in my opinion, but again, it still looks good. And there's a number of other ones that you can choose from, but just to show you from the original one, let's go with the one that looks more like Hormozy since that's the one that probably most people are going to go with. Then we title our project. So we'll say private label. You want to describe your video. Is it a gaming video? Is it a webinar? Is it a monologue like this? Now you can select how long you want the optimal clips to be. So you can tell them longer than 90 seconds if you want to keep them relatively long. Again, this is perfect if you're clipping up like a long podcast into short segments for a clip channel. You could then keep your videos in horizontal format with that little toggle button, like I said, and then say more than 90 seconds and it would clip your videos up into more than 90 seconds with search keywords in what you're saying. It's pretty mind blowing, but we're just going to use this for TikTok videos, shorts, and Instagram reels here. So we're just going to say, I trust Munch, but again, you can play around with this. I usually just trust Munch. It does a very good job. All these are auto selected. It's going to automate your subtitles. It's also, again, like we said, going to cover your video analytics for search terms and trending content. It's also going to give you AI generated hashtags, and then we're going to munch it. And depending on how long your video is, it could take five minutes. It could take 10 minutes. If it's a very long video, it might take 30 minutes, but it usually will email you when you're done and then you can come back or you can just leave this window up. Give it like 10 to 15 minutes, come back and then it will show you clips that look like this. So this is a video of the Luke Belmar one that I ran through just as an example to show you. And so you can see right here, it's saying that this has high search volume based on what I'm saying in here. It's also going to let you edit the video. So if you don't like for whatever reason, like a certain part of it, you can edit that out. You can also shorten it up. And basically if you click in edit, you can toggle the subtitles on and off for a certain portion of the video. You can shorten it up and you'll see that over on the left, some of the words are grayed out. That means that that portion of the video is not in there. So as you go through, for example, I wanted to cut out a part of the end and I didn't want it to say like, but he, then I would just drag that over a little bit until that slowly grayed out. And then that meant it wasn't in the video anymore. So that when you played it, you would see that. And you can test this and edit in this if you want to redo it yourself. What I typically do is I'll just go with the ones that they give me because I think they do a pretty good job most of the time. And I've seen several different approaches here. You can either use the volume approach where you post them all and then see what hits. I've seen a lot of people do that. And then just delete the ones that don't really get any traction and maybe one or two of them get some traction. You keep them. I've seen a lot of people do that because nobody's really watching all your content anyway, especially on these short social media platforms. And nobody's really looking at your profile page to see all the different things that you're posting. Most of the time, they're usually getting it served to them in like the Instagram reel feed or the TikTok for you feed or follower feed.
feed or YouTube short feed. So nobody's gonna see that anyway. Don't be worried about that. But you could also just look through and pick the top two or top three best ones and then post those over the course of the day. I usually try to do this once or twice a day. It works very well. Not only do they clip the video, but they'll also give you a suggestion for a title. So the suggestion for this title is a different approach. Luke's story on how he changed the dropshipping game forever on Facebook. And then it also gives you a suggested captions and potential suggested tags. I have found that the tags aren't always the best here. So use your own tags, but you can use them if you want to. So let's see what this one sounds like products to see what works well and then they double down on that. You might run a few different Facebook ads all to the same product to test if there's enough interest. So that one had a weird intro. If I wanted to use this, I would edit that intro out. Let's try a different one. Still to this day, if you take a look at most Facebook ads or really ads anywhere, the comment section is usually filled with people hating on it that are annoyed because they constantly see that ad in their feed or people voicing their interest in the product. So that's a pretty good one and I could cut it at the end if it went too far or if I didn't like what it was saying, but that's a really great start. And you can see right here in the beginning, it's saying it's captivating. It's got a good captivating intro. It's got high search volume and you can export these 100% free. You don't need to pay for them. Although keep in mind, if you export them on the free plan, then you do have the watermark. So keep that in mind. 